Hey, so I thought I'd better be introduced to Walter Pogo. Is it Pogo? He is my um, traveling companion, shall we say. Um, Pogo goes everywhere with me, within reason. I don't think to look or anything bizarre like that. Um, just anywhere I think I might be able to take a funny photo with a monkey and something random. He comes along. Um, so as you can see, he's been to New York. Um, I used to make all these clothes. I made these jeans he's wearing. They're um, very um, rustic, shall we say. Uh, and his sweatband is uh, for a finger. Um, he's got... That's from a tequila bottle. And he's also got dog tags that are from... Yeah, no, you probably won't be able to see that. From a Street Fighter, the kind of action man thing that I had when I was a kid. Um, and I, I pierced his ears as well. One day I will give him a mohawk, so he won't be so bald forever. But that requires a lot of thought. Um, so, Pogo was kind of weird. Um, I, like I said, I used to make his clothes. He had a bunch of random ones. He had a Taz t shirt, he had a Blink 182 t shirt. Um, he has an Italian t shirt somewhere as well. Um, he also has a tuxedo, which is pretty cool. He wore that in Vegas. Uh, he's also good on Facebook. Uh, he goes to festivals with me. He's been around half the world, probably a lot more than a lot of my friends have been around the world as well, which is quite funny and slightly sad for them. Um, so I thought I'd tell the world the story of where Pogo came from. Um, Pogo is actually a beanie baby. And if you moon you. Ah, there you go. He's a beanie baby. His name is originally Dangles, which is a stupid name for a monkey. Pogo is much better. Um, I've had Pogo for nine, maybe ten years. Uh, I was in a shop in Glasgow. It's still there, actually. It's called I think it's called Papyrus. It's on Sucky Hill Street. Um, uh, yeah, it's on Sucky Hill Street near the big gang galleries um, and I went in one day with my first ever proper girlfriend and there was just a bunch of these little naked monkeys and uh, I, have a, I had a habit at the time of making any inanimate object come to life and I thought it was quite fun and she thought it was quite funny so she bought me Pogo um, I don't know why she bought me Pogo I don't know why they say they give me clothes and a name and a Facebook that just kind of happened, that's just what I did at the time, I used to just make clothes for things. I had a zippy that I gave jeans and t-shirt to, but it just wasn't as cool as Bogo. You know why Bogo just seems to look cooler in clothes than most other random stuff toys. Um, he had loads of clothes. Um, I put them in a rucksack for him, like a little travel rucksack thing that you get for like cameras. Uh, and I lost it, I lost all his clothes. Um, he currently has a little knapsack which is actually for Beanie Babies. Um, and in that he's got like a voodoo coin from Memphis and some pirate gold. Uh, and something else I'm sure. Matches I think I don't know, he's got like random stuff in his bag. Um, so yeah, that's Pogo. Oh. Um, for some reason he's very popular with the ladies on Facebook. More so than I am, sadly. Um, and apparently he's a very good wingman, says uh, one of the guys I was travelling with, because he came out on a few nights out with us. Um, yeah, that's Bogle.